Side, Gillingham, I don't know what it was called. Spotsfield, I think. Uh, West Ham Fan TV. Um, a difficult night, but we got through it. Yeah, well, in the end, I mean, that's one of the worst fast start football I've seen from West Ham. Even under Pellegrini, that, if that was under Pellegrini, we'd be losing our minds. But we did it in the end. We did it in the end. Um, some awful performances in the first half. I'd, like, I'd have to start off with um, Masuaku, Rice, like, you know, a great player, but today he was awful in the first half, gave away. The ball so many times took week, but Moyes, Moyes effect, second half, you know, I thought he would have changed up a bit, but no, he kept the same team, and I think he's right to, really, because in the second half, those players, they showed him that they do need, to, that he does have confidence in them, and that they deserve to have confidence in him, because they showed it second half, I mean, Masuaka, I would have taken him off second half, but second half, he played well, very well, and I'm very impressed with him. Um, Anderson had a poor first half, yeah. but very impressive yeah, second half. The same with him, exactly, yeah. Um, I was, I was, everyone was getting frustrated with him, saying, oh, come on, be stronger. But he showed more energy, but, you know, that could be, I think that's Moyes. That's it's what Moyes does, and it's good to kind of see that. I mean, as, as, I, as I said when we had Pellegrini, I could never see Pellegrini going back in the second half or after the game and, you know, cane in their asses. But I can only imagine that Moyes than that, because you never see a second half performance like that from Pellegrini, like com contrast to the first half. So it was great to see that kind of performance and change. So it, it, I definitely does, do think that change came with the manager, uh, um, Moyes, who definitely brought that today, I think. Uh, another clean sheet. Naming the out is the most important thing. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. When's, the, when's the draw? It's tonight, isn't it? I don't know. T -t tonight or tomorrow? Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see well, who we've got. We'll see. I mean, to be honest, I, any game is hard. I mean, you know, as we know, Oxford and Newport, and even today, we didn't make it easy for us. We could play Champions side, League One, League Two. Oh, we, we could struggle against any team, so I'm really not confident. I mean, I'd love for us to go on and kick on, because I know Moyes said um, last week when he first signed, uh, he'd love to get a cup run going. And I think this club needs a cup run. Uh, well, this season especially, because we've got nothing on this season. I think, you know, Moyes came here to kind of get us mid-table in this season. And, you know, if we can get that and then do have a good have a good cup run, not necessarily win it, but a good cup run, mm. semi-final, final be, I think in the end, a decent season, I think, definitely under Moyes. And, Definitely progression. Um, also, I realised that my letter. Yeah, I, I was gutted that Fedrick's gone off injured. I mean, he didn't have the great greatest game, but coming on, coming off, I know that he's vital in our defence and getting us out of situations where the ball's through and he just comes out of nowhere and tackles the ball. So he, it looks like a hamstring to me. Could be a few months yet. Which is a massive gutter. So we might have to look into the transfer market. I know we've been looking at midfielders and strikers, um, Fernandez and Gabigol, but. I might have to look in there for a right back now because. Well, yeah, Zabba's retiring as well. Yeah. So. Exactly, yeah, definitely. Yeah. A nice young right back come in, um, do it for the next few months, I think, hopefully, because, um, yeah, we're going to struggle massively. You know, that, that might be the weak point, which we had, because Zabba did struggle at times. We got into, well, got I'm, I'm going to just cut in there with, with Zabba. I think uh, a little bit of credit's got to be given to him because he played, um, at times, he played like he was 24 again. At times. And a, good, and a good goal. Yeah, to be fair, he did. He got a good position. The thing I like about Zabaleta compared to Fedrix is Zabaleta likes to get forward a bit more. He likes to go in those positions, which I'd like Fedrix to do more because he's got the ability to kind of run through. And at times, his crossing's all right. So I wish he just didn't do it. Mm. Um, it's a shame with Fedrix. And yeah, that's the one thing Zabaleta does bring. He does bring a bit of hunger and passion. I mean, you know, his touch was a bit up at times. Yeah, and yeah. So his passing. But no, was, you know what? Hopefully he can do the job unless we, if we don't get a new right back. So, um... Yeah. Any time will tell. Thanks, Mitch. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.